People walking down the street with beers in hand. Some people urinating on the sidewalks. Others fighting in the street. Those are just some of the things people got cited for on the south side over the weekend. It's part of a police crackdown that business owners tell KDKA they want to see more of. Megan Schiller joins us now from East Carson Street with the numbers that are making some people very happy. Megan. Keep the South Side fun, but make it uneventful for police. That is the goal around here. And business owners say after this weekend, they feel like they are one step closer to that. They want police to be bored on East Carson Street. The weekend crackdown results are in, and Urban Tap owner John DeMauro will take another round. It's fantastic. Um, so typically on a given weekend, you know, we can have maybe just two or four citations. That's not cutting it, he says. Take a look at this instead. Two felony arrests for guns without a license and a drunk driver fleeing police. 21 traffic tickets, 36 tickets for drunkenness, open containers, public urination. You get the drill. It's refreshing and it's, you know, it's what needed to happen. He's part of the Southside Hospitality Partnership, a group of business owners, restaurants and bars looking to keep Southside safe and vibrant. The group's meeting often now, even after the announcement of Carson City Saloon's closure. We're seeing a lot of disruptive, drunken individuals on the street. We're seeing a lot of open container. Uh, we're seeing a lot of individuals that are actually coming down to Southside just to partake in being on East Carson Street. These videos are just some of what happens when bars let out. Dominic Rometto sees it all the time. What happened is when everybody gets done, Everyone lets out at like two. There's just crowds of people and everybody's drunk and, and then there's problems. Usually the altercations happen on the main oh, streets. Yeah. Like when people's walking past, you know, they run into somebody or they're intoxicated and they want to, you know, I don't know, impress the girls or something. The two suggest closer parking options, more metal detectors, and finding a way to enforce ID checks on the street outside of the bars to cut down on youth violence. DeMauro tells me it's only sustainable if we keep up the pace. People have to have the correct expectation when they're in, um, when they're coming down to an entertainment district of, you know, what is and what isn't acceptable. And the, ven and the venue for an entertainment district should never be the street in and of itself. And I reached out to Pittsburgh police to ask if this is going to continue, and they said, yes, it is. They are going to keep it up for every weekend, at least through these busy summer months. Reporting tonight on the South Side, I'm Megan Schiller, KDKA News.